All right. So recently this past week, I've been like, when I'm at work, I like listen to podcasts or whatever, like while I'm working. And so what I've been listening to lately is David Goggins, like audio book, Can't Hurt Me. And right now I'm like, I'm like eight, nine hours in. And let me tell you, like that shit is like fucking insane. Like he goes through his like whole story about like him being his like childhood trauma and then him being fed and him being like going to the Navy. It's fucking insane. But something that I want to give to you, like something that I, I learned is the, the mental cookie jar, right? <clears throat> Goggins is talking about this like mental cookie jar that he has whenever he's, I mean, on a run or something, he's doing just something difficult, right? He like goes into his cookie jar and then eats the cookie and then he like has more power and then he starts running, whatever. But what the mental cookie jar really is, is like, all the things that you've overcame in your life already. So what does that really mean? So let's say your girl broke up with you, right? But a year later, you're in the gym, you're working out. A cook, The cookie in the cookie jar would be you overcoming the breakup, you overcoming that sadness. Or for example, right? Another cookie in the cookie jar would be like, okay, I've achieved this, 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 and this. It's pretty much like positive reinforcement for you to keep pushing because a lot of times like we we pick like negative things to motivate us like oh yeah I'm gonna get revenge on that bitch or whatever or like you try to get revenge on someone or is it, it's just something negative like oh I'm gonna prove them all wrong it's like that type of motivation is less powerful than the positive cookie jar motivation like oh like I've squatted 225 therefore I can do this oh I've like you like go back to your, your personal records or you even go back into your childhood and like the traumas that you've overcame or, okay, you got an A plus on your test. Like I've done that. It's like, you start thinking about all the things that you've done and that positive reinforcement will allow you to keep going. And this, the reason this stuck out to me is because like, we love to cling on to like negativity. We love to cling on to the bad things in life, all the, the bad things that hurt us, all the, negative like trends on social media you know what's fucking crazy when when i was with um the bros think big podcast like when i was like filming with all them but by the way like, i have a podcast that i'm on right um we were t we were looking over like titles and my one friend he sent this in the group chat a video about this guy testing this thing on tiktok it was like a negative video versus like a positive video like a negative title versus a positive title and the negative title did so much better than the positive one. And it just goes to show that like, <clears throat> when you are on social media, like, fuck. <clears throat> oh. My bad, I'm like, I'm like still kind of like waking up. But so what, it, what that goes to show is that on social media, especially they like to push out more negative things than anything. Like, like I literally made a video on my channel a couple weeks ago. I literally see muff. I see motherfuckers die on Instagram. I see motherfuckers get shot. People get ran over. People getting killed on social media. And I look in the comments and motherfuckers, like the top comments, like, "Oh, day twenty eight of me seeing someone die on Instagram." It's like, bro, that shit's actually retarded. So don't cling. Don't try to cling on to those that negative things. And it's so much easier said than done. But what you really need to do is just flip your whole mindset completely. When you're doing something difficult, let's say you're, you're going up to a test and you didn't study, right? So what you wanna do is during that test, you don't know anything, blah, blah, blah. You start thinking back to the last test or a test that you did before that you did really good on. And you'd be like, oh, I did, I did good on that, so therefore I can do good on this. So it's like this positive like mindset, this positive reinforcement comes up in a lot of books I read too. Like I know in a Psycho-Cybernetics, when it talks about your self image and when you want to change your self image, all you have to do is think about that self image, but reinforce that with a positive thought and a positive thing. Like it says, gives an example of you tying your shoe for the first time and learning it. So like <clears throat> on this channel, especially, I want to really promote like being more of a positive person, becoming a better person. Cause we need more people like that. Like, let's be honest. Like a lot of people are just assholes. They joke around about shit that's not even fucking funny. It's like, people are just so like, 
they're so negative. And I used to be negative as well, too. Like, so negative. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> create your cookie jar. Like, what you can do is, like, he, like, at the, in the book, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, at the end of, like, each chapter, he would have, like, a challenge to do. And what he said to do was, like, get out a piece of paper and write down your cookie jar, your mental list. So, write down all the achievements, all the small wins, all the big wins, everything that you've overcame in your life so far. And let it, it can literally be the simple things like, okay, um, I did a two mile run or I did, um, I squatted, no, I benched 135 pounds. It's like those small things that you can kind of reinforce your mindset with or your, your, your attitude with. It's that, that's, that does so much better than the negative things like, oh, I gotta get revenge. I gotta... I gotta beat this person, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> it's like the positivity, the positive force really propels you to be more motivated, propels you to do more work, propels you to be more productive. So, so get a piece of paper, write down your mental cookie jar. Your, all the things that you've done, all the things that you've overcame, even like, oh, like, um, I had my first kiss, like even like some shit like that like go go all the way back into your childhood too like even if you had some fucked up shit in your childhood right down i overcame that i overcame this i overcame that you overcame these like mental struggles that's what it's really about it's not just like oh i made a thousand dollars no it's about <clears throat> it's about like the the real hard challenge that you overcame like for example um oh i overcame smoking weed right oh i stopped drinking oh i got i got rid of those old i got rid of those old asshole friends you know what i mean it's like you can kind of stack on things in your cookie jar and whenever you're feeling unmotivated whenever you're feeling like you can't do it anymore pick up that cookie jar and look at it oh i've done this i've done this i've done this right and you start thinking like okay i can, I can do this right if i can do these things i can get out of bed so hold on I really do like this cup, by the way. I it, literally like all I've been drinking lately is mushroom coffee. It's the Four Sigmatic Think brand or whatever. And what I do when I, I make the coffee, I put rosemary in it. Dude, that shit fucking tastes so good. But, but yeah, write down your cookie jar and then just use that. Just stuff it either somewhere, put it under your pillow, make, take take a picture of it, put it as your background on your on your phone or whatever. And yeah, I hope I hope that helped you. And with that, continue your journey and keep moving forward. Cheers.